Okay, so I, I've had a lot of people say to me, like in DMs or my friends on Discord and stuff, saying, why is my mic so good? I've got such a good, clear microphone. People have said it to me in game chat as well. It's like, oh my God, are you a streamer? You've got such a good microphone. Oh my God. So I'm going to be showing you how to get a good sounded microphone for both video, streaming, Discord, whatever. If you're just using it for voice calls and you want a good sounded microphone, you've come to the right place. So, first things first, you want this software called Voice Meter. So all you have to do is go on your internet browser, search Voice Meter, and there'll be the first link. Now, I use just normal Voice Meter, not Voice Meter Banana, I think. Yeah, just normal Voice Meter. And all you do is download. That's simple. I, I would say download the zip package. Personal preference. That's just what I use. Because you get everything instead of just this. So, yeah, that's it really. You, you just download it. Um, and then you also need to download the virtual audio cable as well. Download this for your software. Not software. For your designated Windows. Or OS. So Windows or Mac, basically. So once you've got it downloaded, you'll come to a page similar to this, but everything should be set at zero. For your hardware input one, select obviously your main microphone. Hardware input two, the output is the cable output, this one, WDM cable output, virtual audio cable, that one. Uh, this one, that, that's the same. And then have this as your voice meter input VB audio virtual cable. So I will leave my preferences or settings in the description as a download. So you could well get my settings because that's how you are. Obviously these settings depend on which microphone you have because a USB mic won't sound as good as an XLR mic like I have. And the actual mic itself, whether it's USB or XLR, the actual quality of the microphone will depend on it as well so all of this depends on your microphone and how good it sounds still should change the way your mic sounds as a whole anyway these settings are what i find perfect for my microphone which is a rode pod mic which is also an xlr mic and i also forgot to say it depends on what interface you're using like for me i have a focus right scarlet solo i think gen 2 i think that's what i have i'll show you a picture on the screen but if you have like a Go XLR or a Bayer Dynamic one or something like that or a Yamaha interface, it all depends because interfaces have their own things on it, like their own little dials and stuff that change it, like change the gain and all that sort of stuff. So that depends on this as well. You just have to tweak around, find which settings are perfect for you. Like these settings are, uh, will work for me perfectly fine. I'll show, you, I'll, I'll show you what it sounds like with and without it. So this is obviously the entire video up to now is what it sounds like now. Now this is what it sounds on its own with no voice meter whatsoever. Okay, so now that I've basically shown you how to set up voice meter, um, well, I haven't really shown you, but I'm just going to leave my settings in the description so you can just import them by going to menu, load settings, select a file, it will load my settings. You're going to have to change what your microphone is because it will be set as my microphone. Just change the microphone. That's what you really need to change unless you want to change all of these settings as well to make it good for you. But yeah. So the last bit of audio you just heard as well before I just started speaking now was unedited, just straight raw microphone from voice meter audio from what that does to what my normal microphone just sounds like without voice, voice meter. So now I'm going to show you how to get audio such as high quality professional audio in a recording. So after you've recorded it. Okay, so here you can see this is audio from this video. What you have to do is to make it sound good, good quality is highlight everything obviously if you have noise so normally what you do is you leave a few seconds before you actually start recording so then you could highlight the noise obviously i haven't got any because of my voice meter settings but what you would do is just highlight the noise go in effects noise reduction get noise profile press ok 
Then after that, control A to select everything, effects, and just repeat it until the noise is gone. That's the first thing that you do. Then after that, once again, select everything. But if you have noise here, just drag it over to where your audio starts, go on effects. Then what I do, I do compress. These are my compressed settings. This is what works for me. Obviously, again, tweak everything to what sounds good for you. This is what works on my microphone. Yours will be different. Then just press OK. Let it do its thing. And then I do equalization as well. So I have two saved versions, which is my bass and my treble. So this is what I have it set. It's kind of hard to see, but it's in between like 10 to 11 dB for the bass. And then there's that 100 hertz. I don't really understand this, but I was tweaking with it. Found out it worked. Worked for me. Just okay. Then effects again. Then another equalization, and that is the treble, which lowers the S's. You know, I have a little bit of a lisp sometimes. So this is my perfect settings. I don't know what the values are or anything. Like, well, that's just under. That's like eight dB. And that's zero. Obviously, it's bumped up there. And yeah. So obviously, if you want to copy these, you can. But just bear in mind, this is what works for me. It might not be it might not work for you to the way it works for me and just press okay there you can see it's changed the audio quite a bit and you've got an effects again all of this is just gonna be an effect so and we then what i do is i normalize this is what i do so you remove the dc offset and normalize peak to minus one db then just press okay does all of that jazz go on effects again then you want to go on the limiter uh choose hard limit then this is my settings for this, obviously. Then you choose 0, 0, minus, minus 6.10. Then that's on 10, and that's on no. Obviously, you can preview it, which for some reason, none of this is playing for me, so I can't actually hear it, but you can. And then obviously press OK. And then depending on how it sounds, I would normally play it back. And then if I need to normalize it again, I will. If I need to limit it again, I will do all that jazz but I can't because I can't hear it. But yeah, you can hear it. That's how I get my audio, how I do. If you liked getting good, good quality microphone audio, such as this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you're a Fortnite player, use code XORA in the item shop.